Oxford academic Sarah Louise Miller says many WAFs in the Battle of Britain were much more than they seemed. One of the most important things is radar operations. So the, the network of radar stations around the south coast of England is largely manned by women and they are reading information off of the screen and at this stage it's very much raw data and they need to be able to do calculations pretty quickly. A lot going on at once. Specialist skills are then largely trained on the job. There were always women behind them who were in intelligence roles gathering information and getting that information to RAF commanders who could actually order the pilots into the air. I think it's a great shame that they're so unheralded. It's not surprising because of the intense secrecy surrounding what they did, but they were such a key piece of the reason why Britain was able to win this battle. Now the chain home radar stations on the cliff tops and coastal areas, they have these huge 360 foot steel transmission towers, those sending out the radar pulses. It shows up on a cathode ray tube as a blip or a kind of anomalous factor. And that includes the bearing, the direction of travel, the speed that the aircraft is traveling at, how many aircraft are coming, is it one or is it a group? All kinds of information that can be useful in terms of air defense. After the Battle of Britain concludes and Germany has not achieved what it wanted to in terms of being able to launch Operation Sea Lion of the invasion of Britain, hasn't managed to do that, has not gained air superiority over the Royal Air Force. The tactics change. Taught by the Great War and German propaganda to expect a fierce blitzkrieg, we have stood ready for the assault on our city. The Blitz is this sustained aerial attack against the British population now, rather than just military targets. And the reason for that is to try a different tack. We're going to try to destroy British morale with this sustained aerial campaign. Operation Chastise, uh, better known as the Dam Busters Raid, uh, was a different kind of bombing raid for Bomber Command. So where they'd been carrying out this kind of mass area bombing, um, talking about big areas, this, in contrast, was kind of more of a surgical strike. 